What you've just watched right now, it is a short film known as Stack that looks at, that looks into uh, the global pandemic uh, coronavirus uh, in Kenya. And this was a submission. I'm not sure if it it was submitted, but you're supposed to be a submission for the Kenya. Uh, my Kenya My Story uh, mobile phone competition, which is the third edition uh, program held by the Kenya Film Commission. And uh, in this month, 30th of June, they will announce the winner who will walk away with over 200,000 Kenya shillings. In studio, I am joined by uh, the people behind this particular uh, short film known as Stack, that is Glides Lakes Global. I hope I said it right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> we can start uh, for my uh, right introducing yourself and people back at home can know who uh, we're interacting with. Okay, my name is Edward Sira Sira. Mm -hmm. I am the director of Glight Lex Entertainment, okay. a film production company that deals with all kinds of arts. The main thing we do is film and uh -huh. I'm glad to be here. Okay, founder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the founder of Glight Lex. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, my name is uh, Akiri Wei, and I'm um, uh, the assi assistant director of Light Lakes Global. All right, guys, make sure you stay tuned and keep the conversation going on our social media handle. That is at Y254 channel. At Michelle Lashiro is where you can find me. And we also have a question for you guys on our Facebook page, and that is, how do you think the Kenyan artists are earning since there are no shows and music sale uh, in Kenya? So at this particular time, nothing uh, when it comes to entertainment is uh, much. Go there's no much going on on that sector. We'll be having this conversation. How do you think uh, Kenyan artists are doing this time, Edward? Okay, that's a challenging question. Mm -hmm. Even though there are shows that are being made uh, uh, online. Mm -hmm. uh, for those who know technology, via Zoom app, there's a Zoom app, and there's a WhatsApp shows being conducted, mm -hmm. just like any other show. Uh, people just uh, plan for an event, they market it online, Facebook, Twitter and all that. Mm -hmm. Then they, there is the, the payment of the fee, the joining fee. Okay. Join via uh, 100 shillings or 200 shillings. Uh, during the event, everyone is added to the group. Those who have paid mm -hmm. after that, people watch the event. If it's a modeling event, people attend it. Then after that, there is the awarding of the winners and and all that just creativity okay yeah but the main people earning are the big artists all right maybe you can you could mention the platforms again we have zoom whatsapp and the other one was uh the main ones are zoom and whatsapp mm -hmm. there's instagram live and uh, facebook even though those ones are not uh, paid all right so prior to this you were mentioning what uh, glide lakes uh, global mm -hmm. you guys do there's a couple of uh, uh things that you guys are involved in, this film, they, I would like to find, or rather get a clear picture of uh, what uh, Glides Lakes Global uh, do. Okay, uh, about Glides Lakes, uh, we are a film production company. Okay. Uh, that is like our core thing that we do. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from that, uh, we want to dominate other sectors. We are doing all kinds of arts. Oh, wow. How? Through the events that we create. Mm -hmm. We create events, mm -hmm. uh, music events, mm -hmm. just general events. It's called the competition. Uh, currently, we are in edition three. Uh, we will do edition four. Uh, so these competitions are there to bring up the upcoming talent. I don't call them upcoming because there's no, no one is coming. Everyone is, is made. Mm -hmm. So the new talents. So we, uh, we give them platform, music, spoken word, poetry, modeling, fashion, and all that. Oh, so how does the, uh, the company uh, impact when it comes to skills to their members, that is, of uh, Glidelix uh, uh, Global Production? Yeah, one of the skills that we have been able to uh, impact is maybe some of our actors have been able to, uh, to, be, to come well with the terms when we are acting and then they have been able to gain some skills. We also have some directors who we want also to gain other skills with us. Mm -hmm. So we just invite them and sure. and uh, we conduct with them the shoots and then from there they just learn the skills by all, by just practical skills. Yeah. 
Yes. All right. For yeah. someone who's watching back back at home, they are very much passionate about film and uh, script writing, production, the whole aspect of it. And they are asking, mm -hmm. how do, how did you guys start off, uh, in, including a financial aspect? There's also uh, tools of production mm -hmm. coming up with the right team. Maybe you can clarify that. Okay, uh, the first thing I want to say to individuals watching there are that uh, uh, if you have the urge, nothing can stop you. How did we start? Uh, we started way back in 2017, but we became more serious in 2019. Uh, what I can tell someone that wants to start is that uh, use the available resources. Uh, personally, we don't have... Uh, uh, we don't have equipment, so we don't have venues and all that. But we use our relatives mm -hmm. to provide for us the venues. For the equipments, we hire them. So that one should not be a problem to someone who wants to start. Mm -hmm. Also, look for somewhere. We have many production companies, but look for a production company that is serious. Wakisema, we are doing this shoot. They do it. Mm -hmm. Because there's talking and there's action part. Yeah, so I just uh, urge them to stay uh, connected, keep going, and start with the available resources. Ah, do you feel like Kenyans, uh, we as Kenyans, <laughs> <laughs> we as Kenyans, uh, what, what's the response or on, when it comes to content? Are we appreciative uh, when it comes to release of local um, production? Before we add on something, uh, Kenyans we have been uh, brainwashed and we have we are still colonized. Mm -hmm. In which way? Uh, we believe that the Western nations okay. are the best. Are the best they are content right. the yeah, best. Mm -hmm. go to the clubs, go to the uh, to the vehicles. You will find uh, nowadays it is Gengeton at least coming up, mm -hmm. but people. People always, uh, Kenyans, we Kenyans, we don't appreciate our own. We say the other pers the other people are the best. Even after the, the re regulation uh, rule of 60 40, still, uh, you guys feel it like not yet. Yeah, it's not yet done. Yes. You know, okay, East or West, home is the best, home absolutely. Best. Home is the best. So, Kenyans, we want to say, uh, I want to watch the ready-made people like we don't believe in our own content yeah but who are there to promote us if you go to uh, there's a film that i watched by the way it was made in kenya uh, the elephant documentary mm -hmm. it shows that we have resources but the content is not yet appreciated by us because we believe that the other people are the best than us mm -hmm. so the content for me i say it's still not being appreciated mm -hmm. it is us that push it mm -hmm. yeah we have the best of the best okay so when it comes to new faces in this game, when because uh, uh, when it comes to film, new talents comes through comes through through in uh, every single day, mm -hmm. and then we have people who have been into the game for the longest period of time, and these newbies are seeking for these particular opportunities, and mm -hmm. uh, there are most cases where these they're not given this chance sure. to be exposed and just. Uh, if it's a new production coming up or on a film, mm. they tend to choose the, uh, the faces that have been there before. I don't know if they believe the execution will be way better. Do you feel like the old uh, guys in the industries are suppressing the newbies who are coming up? Yeah, I, don't know. Uh, you know, I don't think if uh, the big players are just a problem. Mm -hmm. The only problem is the, the person himself because sure. it is always the willpower of if uh, if somebody wants to do something, okay. mm -hmm. we have just to see the, the aspect of is he or she pushing himself to perform better than what is required. All right. Yes. Yeah. And still on the aspect of uh, new people into the game and yeah. seeking for these particular opportunities to showcase what they have, yeah. when it comes to exposure, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> That's a question that most people actually have. So new talent, when it comes to exposure, time to showcase whatever you have into the game, and someone tells you they're going to pay you with exposure, at what time will you, t uh, at what particular moment will you tell an, uh, like an artist that now it's time, maybe you could just uh, give out points on just to see uh, that this time now exposure is enough and it's time for you to just walk away, walk and look for green up pastures. What are some of couple of things that you can look out for as an artist you yeah. just you know, go mm. for exposure every single time mm, you value yourself that's the first answer mm -hmm. 
You're the one who dictates when I invent a shoe. I'm the one who dictates. Is it 20,000 or 4,000 or 200 shillings? So it is the artist to know where he or she belongs. Then my brother uh, Wayne has said that uh, the willpower in you. We have uh, the old people, uh, I mean the old faces. Uh, I don't want to mention someone's name, but I want to say uh, someone like Eric Komondi. Look at the Churchill legends. They are now doing their own things and leaving their comings to Absolutely. nature their talents. So for artists to know that it's your time now to get paid, it is you that value yourself. Mm. You can, someone I can expose, uh, me as a director, I can expose you for 10 years because you don't value yourself. <laughs> like it is you to value yourself. Show me that you need this money, I'll give you the money. Okay, How do you show me? By doing it. If I tell you to act, like, an, uh, let me say, act this, uh, do this cast or do this character, and you're not good at it. Why should I pay you? So ah. it is you as an artist. So it goes back to self-worth. Exactly. Self -worth, exactly. Okay, I would like to find out, uh, when it comes to, I believe, actually, we have amazing, amazing scriptwriters mm -hmm. out here who can actually do an amazing job. I would like to find out uh, from you. Uh, what would be your advice? Because I believe they have handed out their projects, probably in mainstream media, and their and their work just get to be shelved, shelved every single time. And they're like, you know what? I'm gonna give up. You know, I'm just gonna leave what would be your uh, your advice? And if you have actually even experienced uh, the same uh, from uh, from the company, can give us uh, an inlook in, into that. Yes, my advice is look for the right people. Just look for the right people who are motivated, uh, those people who are wi willing, uh, despite they may face some challenges in their, of course in our industries, Edward, you have seen, mm. there are a lot of challenges. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but when you find the right team, the mm. right people who are uh, committed to do whatever it takes for them to be there, then success will just come automatically from hard work. Let me add on something. To the script writers, it is true, Kenya, we don't have enough platform. So create your own platform. Wacha kupatiana scripts, you send them everywhere. We have started without getting platform. There's no one that told us, Glight Lakes, do this movie. We saw Kenyan feeling my Kenya, my story, and we started. Who told us that you should start now, you should not go on like walking left, right, and giving out your letter. So start. Create your own platform if you cannot find it. It has been said, mm -hmm. and there's no nothing to add on that. All right, because you mentioned uh, my Kenya, my story, uh, the mobile competition. I'd like to find out uh, was Stack part of this particular competition? Did you guys submit, and why are you guys not on the nominees? <laughs> because that was an amazing. <laughs> hey, guy. Okay, it said that uh, I don't know. <laughs> Karma is a bitch. Huh? <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. One mistake costed us a lot. Mm -hmm. To the filmmakers out there, be very keen. A single email and answered costed us a lot. There was a fil there was a uh, there was an email that was uh, that needed us to approve the film so that it can be watched by Kenyan Film Commission. Mm -hmm. So that one cost us a lot. Our film, I, we are not even sure if it was watched because of that. Mm -hmm. So we we missed the nominations, but uh, <laughs> there's always next time. Uh, so what's your take uh, uh, on this uh, particular initiative by the Kenya Film Commission of uh, uh, this particular program, which actually is like giving, like giving opportunity to young people who mm. think about the aspect of just having the right tools of production, which in most of the cases goes back to good quality, which also goes back to a uh, total of huge amount of investments, and then that can act as a discouragement. What is your thought on uh, this particular project, which involves just a simple mobile phone to just uh, shoot a film, and you walk away with the uh, 200,000, yes. Yeah, one of the things that I'm so glad that the uh, organization brought is uh, we have been able to uh, tell Kenyans w what COVID-19 is all about. And then uh, number two is all about uh, bringing out uh, just we are the, the Kenya Film Commission has also tried to see uh, what we can do as Kenyans uh, in terms of short films because there is there is a broad market for films there is sure. feature films there is uh, short films mm. there is there is a lot of market yeah. for films so 
maybe mm. Edward can uh, and so uh, I want to just thank uh, Kenyan Film Commission uh, for filmmakers or upcomings or new talents watching out there please go to social media Facebook search Kenya Film Commission this body has done a lot to Kenyans it is us artists who do not go for the opportunity uh, I want to thank the Kenya Film for the my mobile my film my uh, my mobile my Kenya my my mobile story my Kenya my story my Kenya my story yeah uh, it was out there and it had big amount of cash mm -hmm. just to show that to show to the upcoming artists that these people value us the government value the upcoming Come talents all right yeah absolutely let's look at intellectual property now theft in that is so like, uh how can a script writer copyright their work it's simple he or she just go to the copyright okay everything is online okay there's a form you fill mm -hmm. there's also an amount of money you pay but it is for your own benefit hmm. it is being announced each and every time in the social media in the kenya film commission mm -hmm. copyright your materials just right. go and search copyright uh, at the kenya film commission you will get everything in the case whereby probably i have mm -hmm. issued out my work looking for an opportunity yeah. i know we are creating opportunities by using our own platform like youtube and uh, and so on and so forth social media handles mm -hmm. but let's have just given out my project to a particular potential person who is probably an investor who is also into the film industry mm -hmm. and they went and did a pilot of my uh, of my project and uh, again they said uh, not right now maybe in future we'll look into it but Few days, few days, few years down the line, few months down, down the line, uh, I see they have executed my work. Now what? What happens from there now? For that one is a very critical issue mm -hmm. in our industry. Okay. It has happened. It's happening. Mm -hmm. It also happens to the music industry. So it's a big problem. What I, so it's part of the challenge. It's part of the challenge. Okay. That I don't know how to answer that even though uh, I will just say just be careful to who you submit the situation, uh, the materials to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Let's them. go back to production now. I'd like to mm -hmm. find out how best or affordable can uh, like a standard uh, movie like cost? <laughs> <laughs> for a standard movie okay uh, okay i'll say it's it, it costs much it costs a lot mm -hmm. for a standard movie i will say something like two hundred thousand. Oh, okay mm -hmm. but there are people who are okay in one way or the other they are blessed or they are favored mm -hmm. let me say you have a friend who have a a, a v8 or a range rover mm -hmm. if i need to act a scene with a with that scene uh, with that uh, car i'll just ask for my friend so production uh, entails a lot you need money you need money and it is period if you don't have money you need to look for sponsors mm -hmm. and people who can like uh, finance your projects oh okay so earlier on we looked at a particular challenge which was uh, on the issue of uh, copyright when it comes to now that your project has been executed so i'd like to find out a couple of challenges that you go you guys face uh, as you just go on your daily day-to-day -day, uh, production and just making sure that you have the final product and uh, your target viewers are actually enjoying it yeah so now the the first challenge may be the casts you know sometimes the cast come and they come late maybe you say maybe you may like to schedule the the film to start on uh, on maybe at eight o'clock and then some come at around 10 that is one of the challenge the second challenge is maybe you can do all the work you can shoot all the work but and then after you have shot all those things then you find out there is so much errors or maybe there are some clips that you don't you did not take well so you have to come back on on set again and then work which is costly mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. So I would like to find out, Edward. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, we have praised the Kenya, uh, the Kenya Film Commission, and uh, we are appreciating the initiative of just uh, giving young people an opportunity. I'd like to find out: Are there uh, any other programs that, uh, like, eases on funding when it comes to production, where we can actually like a film funding uh, program? Uh, it was suggested in the in the Kalasha. Uh, the Kalasha event, okay. what you are talking about. Uh, but 
they are still working on it. I think uh, the Kenya Film Commission is working on it. For now, I don't know of any other platform that funds. Uh, it's it's a it's a process. Okay. Yeah, I don't know of any right. happening, but uh, there are festivals in the Western nations. Even us as filmmakers, we can submit our film or the short film. Like Stack, we have submitted it in the Europe. There's a film festival in the Europe. Okay. Yeah, so, <laughs> so there are so many uh -huh. uh, opportunities that are out there. Uh -huh. Let's not just focus on Kenya. Let's widen our thoughts also to the, to the other nations. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so still seeking, on, still seeking more, or more on funding, right? I'd like to find out how possible is it to walk in uh, into a bank with a business plan of, uh, of, your, uh, of your production and uh, you just tell them this is my budget and I am looking forward to make this particular amount of money after my project is out, which at the end of the day is uh, it's probably a movie, documentary, or series. How possible is that? And have you guys tried it out? <laughs> <laughs> And uh, probably you can also look into if why corporates don't actually um, invest or even uh, uh, just get part, be part of the of the Kenya film industry. Yeah. You know, you invest in somewhere, you get your returns. Mm -hmm. uh, in business, there's returns, there's payback period, and all that. Yes. Uh, I was told something so. Uh, <laughs> annoying to the upcoming so the new talent. Okay. Uh, someone told me that uh, Mexican films are bought at a very cheap price. Mexican movies are bought at a cheaper price. Okay. And uh, uh, they are quality work. Why? They have equipment, they have been to the industry, they have venues and all that. Mm -hmm. Kenyan, if you go to sell your movie compared to a movie that is from Mexico, Absolutely, even if you are uh, uh, the, the buyer, you'll buy something that is quality, you see? So investors also, they look at the returns. Uh, I will inject my 20 million in a film industry. How much will it, how long will it take, you see? Uh -huh. I'll just... Uh, how sure are you actually that I'll you're going to get back your money? money. And, uh, let alone... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I get so, you. So the bank just say, ah, this one, it doesn't... If I go to take a loan, what at Angalia, how many, can I pay the loan back, you see? Mm. Do I have land, do I have this, do I have this? So, so at the end of the day, uh, uh, when it goes back to, back to the Kenya Film uh, uh, Organization, uh, Film Communication, uh, mm. the KFCB, yeah. uh, when there's a proper structure and a proper investment into the film industry, that's when now we can go back to investors and actually look for uh, people for, can... Uh, can fund our project. That's, that's sure, sure. The KSC have the the funding uh, quarterly. It comes. There's the, the one. Uh, the previous one just ended like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. There's a funding pro program by the KFC, but you need the process and the procedure. They don't just pick, which is good. Mm -hmm. Like you need. Uh, you are a Glitlex as a company. What have you done? Which project? The script, the producers, the CV, and all that. So we have those programs, but. They are so critical. Yeah. Okay, so when you look at uh, the music industry, when an artist releases a song and mm -hmm. it hits, that means they will get royalties from the MCSK, okay? Yes. Now, what happens when it comes to the movie, our movie industry, our film industry, that is, uh, if a movie hits, we have the Nairobi Half-Life, for instance. Mm -hmm. What happens? Does the KFCB uh, uh, offer royalties yeah. or... D do, does it go back to the production or the producers, executive producers? Well, actually, with no, like, you know, continue just paying your cast members. How does it work? In, 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 okay, in the KFC, they give the royalties, mm -hmm. even to the winners of these, of this, uh, uh, let me say, the Kalasha Awards and all that. They do give royalty. Okay. Yeah. But it's not a recurrent uh, uh, form of royalty. Sure. Because if, if I'm an artist, my music is playing, like, uh, I'll be, my, I'll, they'll be consistent, a uh, certain amount that I'm just going to be paid. Sure. But when it comes to film, is it like a one-time uh, of a project kind of payment? Or is it something that actually it 
happens on a recurrent mood. Okay, because of the 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 KFC, there's something that the the actors or the actresses do do sign that uh, there are some things they don't uh, like uh, release. Okay. Yeah, but what I know and I've testified from a friend who is out there, he won one of the awards last year, one of the best actor in a, in this the feature film. He told me they do give royalty, and we also saw them posting on their social media of the people that were given. Yeah, but for the recurrent one, for that one, I've not been a, <laughs> a patient of it. Okay. Yeah. So let's find out as Glides uh, Lakes Global uh, Company, how are you guys faring during this time of the pandemic? Yeah. Uh, one of the things uh, we have come up is uh, we are now focusing our energies mm -hmm. to the online platform because that is where the market is, it is at as per now. We are in YouTube, we are in Facebook, we are in Instagram. That is how we have just uh, developed ourselves and we are focusing much of our energy towards the online platforms. All right. Yes. Okay, so Edward, the president, Uhuru Kenyatta, <laughs> issued out 200 million to artists. <laughs> and uh, I just like to find out, just to, the reason why he released this 200, mil, uh, 200 million, my viewers, is just to alleviate artists during this time of the pandemic, considering there is no form of gathering or events happening. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'd like to find out your thoughts on this. Is, is there a proper strategy and, uh, that has been kept, or has been put in place? Yeah. And uh, also when it comes to implementation, and uh, have you guys gotten your money? <laughs> First and foremost, we'll uh -huh. thank the government of Kenya, mm -hmm. the best president, Uhuru Kenyatta. Why? It is the first time that artists are getting money, especially during the pandemic, like, we, we, most people are broke. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. most so, <laughs> so businessmen. So, uh, we want to thank him. The strategy is working. People were given time to apply, mm -hmm. and the time was extended to how many weeks? Almost two weeks. Mm -hmm. The poetry guys have gotten their money. Mm -hmm. My friends, not that an uh, askiza, like my friends have gotten the money, the poetry. Mm -hmm. The film department, we have applied. Okay. It was being applied as, the, uh, as a company or as a filmmaker or all that. So we have applied, we're just waiting for them to get back to us. Okay. Yeah, but the money is there mm -hmm. and people have started receiving their money mm -hmm. last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just to clarify, yes, I know you guys clarify it to me, but I want you to clarify to my uh, my viewers. Yeah. Is it like a one-time payment or is it a monthly uh, payment that is going to be to be given? At the moment, it was paid once, mm -hmm. but they say there is a second uh, time it will be coming. Yeah, it All was paid right. once. Okay, so uh, as we wind up, guys, back at home, remember, we have a question uh, on our Facebook page, and we are asking you a simple question as, how do you think Kenyan artists are earning since there are no shows and music sale in Kenya is poor? How do you think Kenyan artists are earning since there are no shows and music sales uh, is poor. Make sure you follow us across all our social media platforms. That is at Y254 channel. And I would like to hear what you have to say. I would like to hear your comments and uh, keep the conversation going at Michelle Shira is where you can find me across all my social media handles. So as we wind up, uh, what are some of the measures that uh, can be taken up uh, just to transform the film industry? Uh, give uh, the new talents Opportunity. See exposure. See exposure. <laughs> <laughs> Glad like we are giving new opportunities. <laughs> yeah. In each project, we are trying to use new mm -hmm. character. Okay. Because there are so many people in auditions. Mm -hmm. Auditions. Okay. Auditions. I've been to auditions ten times. No character. No character. So give new uh, talent uh, opportunities. Mm -hmm. uh, the government on the venues mm -hmm. uh, finance the filmmakers. Mm -hmm. Film uh, is a paying business. But we just need to invest in it. Example is Maria, Selena, Kina, and all that. The movies made in Kenya. Kenya. Yeah. yeah. All right. So as as uh, I was about to in the morning, I'm telling you, lightly <laughs> global production. I like to find out. You guys have been into the game for two years, right? Yeah. So what's the future of Glidelix uh, production, and what should we expect? 
uh, the future is now online. Mm -hmm. Everything is online. Okay. Yeah, and that is what we are focusing our energies on. Then uh, coming yeah. to any other productions, we are basically the future is just online. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, we went to, we are producing a, a series that will premiere. Nice. I think uh, the end of the year because we are still on the on the first five episode we'll the first five episodes. Okay, the platform will still be YouTube. No, okay. we we will uh, we will show them in the Kenyan uh, affiliate uh, the Kenyan channels. Yeah. Wow, looking yeah. forward to seeing that. And yeah. I'm so sure people back at home I can't wait because we uh, have actually seen a couple of your projects on YouTube. Probably this is the right time to for the guys who are, who, who are yet to watch a couple of their projects, Stack being one of them. Uh, yeah. You can issue out your social media handles and how people can reach out to you. Yeah, just find us on Glitelex Global, all social media platforms. Glitelex Global. Uh, for those watching at home, we will be launching our movie, The Wrath of Betrayed Souls. It's a feature film. The corona made us famous, Kidogo. So another thing, uh, probably we can tell people, just to clarify, anyone can be part of Light Lakes uh, Global, or is there a particular uh, procedure that has to be taken uh, through? Uh, Glitelex now we are working on a contract basis, okay. meaning everyone can be part mm -hmm. of Glitelex. Oh, why? Right. So all they have to do is reach out to you. Mm -hmm. Reach out to us. Mm -hmm. We will give you a platform first on short films. Mm -hmm. Then we see if you fit. Mm -hmm. We now do a feature film with you. All right. For yeah. the film lovers, there you have it. Hold on to their social media handle that is at Glitelex Global. And uh, if you have any. Remember, if you have any interest in film, script writing, script writing, film, actors, directing, camera work, there you Karibuni. have it. Opportunity is just right over through your phone, just as simple as that. At Michelle Shira is where you can find me across all my social media platform at Y254 channel. That's where you can find us. Uh, this time around, we are taking you to a short musical break and we'll be right back.